Taking a page from Mark Twain's Book of Wisdom, quote, every novel thought is merely a rehashed version of old ones, tweaked and twirled in the colorful kaleidoscope of our minds. So let's peel back the layers of today's so-called novelties, revealing their roots in the surprisingly ancient past. So buckle up as we explore the seven modern technologies that are way older than you think. Number one, the ancestors of cell phones. Did you know that mobile phones have been in the game since the jitterbug era? The first genuine mobile phone call was made in 1946 by some genius folks at Bell Labs. Yep, long before the age of touchscreen doodads and internet on the go, Bell Labs had already introduced a wireless phone service in about a hundred cities. Imagine this, paying a monthly fee of $15 equivalent to about $150 today for a phone that weighed 36 kilograms or about 80 pounds. It's less mobile phone and more getting a great workout as you make phone calls. These devices were so pricey and bulky that you'd need an extra pair of arms just to haul it around. And let's not even get started on the party line feature that could only handle three calls simultaneously within a single city. Fast forward to 1922. The wireless phone, more of a one-way walkie-talkie entered the scene. A bit not a mobile phone by our standards, this chunky gadget offered the thrill of long-distance communication in an era where such a Thing was as remarkable as a two-headed cat, but alas, this piece of tech was too bulky and inconvenient to catch on. Number two, the tale of bras. The story of bras has more twist than a pretzel. The modern bra as we know it today was birthed in 1914 by Mary Phelps Jacobs, a lady tired of suffocating in corsets. Jacobs' bra was the 1914 equivalent of the MacGyver special, two handkerchiefs sewn together and strapped around the neck. And yes, it was less comfortable than a cactus sweater. But compared to the whalebone armor that are corsets, it was a sigh of relief. But wait, in a plot twist straight out of Indiana Jones, archaeologists in Austria unearthed a treasure trove of ancient bras dating back to the 1400s. These medieval brassiers were rather avant-garde, featuring distinct cups and varied designs, from laced long-line bras to decoratively stitched lingerie. Who knew the folks of yore had such a flair for undergarment fashion? Number 3, 3D Movies 3D films are a classic case of now you see me, now you don't. They have more comebacks than a B-grade horror villain. Interestingly, the heyday of 3D movies was in the 1950s, considered by many as the golden age of three-dimensional cinema. This was an era where 3D glasses were as common as lollipops at a candy store, thanks to the popularity of 3D comic books. Even before the 50s, 3D movies were making a splash across the US. In 1936, a 3D film, Audioscopics, even backed an Oscar. The first the first commercially released 3D film was The Power of Love, a romantic saga of 1922. Despite the film's print now being as visible as a ghost in fog, restored segments have shown that it was pretty ahead of its time. Next up, 3D printing. Much like a blooming flower, 3D printing was around long before it hit mainstream consciousness. The seeds were sown in 1981 by a Japanese research institute that published a report about a 3D printer prototype. The game changer came in 1984 when Charles Hall invented stereolithography. Hall's creation used liquid photopolymers to generate 3D models, which was pretty much the equivalent of going from a donkey cart to a spaceship for designers back then. The technology was refined in 1992 with the advent of selective razor sintering machines, which used powder instead of liquid. But it wasn't until 2009 when the patent on Stratasi's 3D process expired that 3D printers became an item on the average Joe's wish list. Next, Electric cars. Electric cars are not the new kids on the block. They've been around for nearly two centuries. The first practical electric vehicle popped up around the mid 19th century, with the first successful electric car reaching American shores in 1890. There was a time when electric cars were selling like hotcakes, beating gasoline cars 10 to 1, but due to their city centric nature, they couldn't keep up with the times as the American infrastructure grew and people began dressing vehicles for long distance travel. With the advent of cheap gas and the revolution of Henry Ford's assembly line, the ring of electric cars came to an abrupt halt, well, until today that is. Next, plastic surgery. The pioneers of plastic surgery were none other than the ancient Egyptians around 3,000 years ago. They performed a crude form of plastic surgery on Ramses II after his death. A bone and seeds were inserted into his nose to ensure the pharaoh's recognizable sniffer in the afterlife. The Indians in the 6th century BC used a unique method called forehead 
flap rhinoplasty to repair damaged nose and ears. Even the ancient Romans dabbled in cosmetic surgery, proving vanity is as old as civilization itself. Next, virtual reality. Often hailed as the future of entertainment, virtual reality, or VR, was actually a product of the past with a fascinating history. While the term virtual reality was coined in the 1980s, the concept dates back to the mid-20th century. The Sensorama machine, a non-computerized VR system, was designed in the 1950s by filmmaker Morton Hillig. This cinema of the future contraption promised an immense experience by combining 3D movies, stereo sound, vibrations, and even wind. But buckle up because we're going even further back in time. The first true ancestral forms of VR were the panoramic paintings of the 19th century. Artists would create 360-degree murals intended to fill the viewer's entire field of vision, making them feel present at a historical event or famous location. But our journey doesn't even end there. The origins of VR can be traced back even further to the 16th century show boxes. These simple devices were small enclosed scenes with cleverly arranged mirrors to create the illusion of depth and reality. However, instead of fighting aliens or flying through space, viewers were treated to enchanting vistas or theatrical scenes. And fast forward to today, VR technology has evolved in leaps and bounds. Now we can immerse ourselves in realistic simulation that lets us virtually scale Mount Everest or explore the pyramids of Egypt, all from the comfort of our living rooms. I especially like fighting zombies on the streets of New Orleans. So next time you strap on your cutting edge VR headset, remember you're parking in a concept centuries in the making. In conclusion, Mark Twain might have been onto something. The wheels of innovation tends to turn full circle, repackaging old ideas with new twists. Whether it's a mobile phone that was once a glorified car radio or a VR system that evolved from panoramic paintings, history has shown us that every new idea has a fascinating past and even more interestingly, an ever-evolving future. So the next time you marvel at a piece of modern technology, remember to tip your hat to the visionaries of yesteryear. And that's it for this episode, so until our paths cross again in another tantalizing tale of history, mystery, and a touch of comedy, stay curious everybody.